rock loses to tree. Paper beach rock. Finally made it over the pass. It's like 5, 5.30. Definitely behind schedule. But uh, I still think we'll have time to make it to high camp today. So I guess all's well as that ends well. But we're tired. We've been carrying these heavy ass packs for, oh, nine, ten miles now, but uh, now we just follow this beautiful green hillside until we get over the next pass.
Steep as hell. Oh boy. I'm so tired. So I think I did it. That's that's all there is left. That could be a little higher. I'll go check it out. Whoa, hot Danny coming up here. Danny was uh, running out of water, so he was struggling. I've actually been throwing snow into my bottle for like the last, I don't know, three hours now. <laughs> 
and uh, he hikes with a, with a bladder, which makes it much more difficult to throw snow in a bladder. And, well, <laughs> this has been one hell of a trip. Um, I've never done a hike so hard in my life. I don't know if I've done anything so hard in my life. Uh, note to self, you do not need a 70 meter single rope for Glacier. Um, next time if I was to do this again, I'd probably just get a 30 meter twin rope and make sure that my partner and myself know how to self-ascend a crevasse. Um, and that would have saved me about five fucking pounds. Uh, but besides that, yeah, pretty happy with the setup. It's just a really long approach, lots of ups and downs. Um, in the last 24 hours, I've done over 10,000 feet of vert. Um, and by the time I get back to the car, either tonight or tomorrow, uh, we'll be at closer to 12,000, 13,000 vert. So, definitely the longest hike I've done, and, you know, it's totally worth it. It's magical up here. I'm so secluded. Got this whole summit to myself. There's my boy Danny! Danny! How you doing? Oh, I got so many blisters now. <laughs> Me too, man, but you fucking did it. How was that, Danny? Grueling. Oh, ready to eat. <laughs>